The knife hand block is an open-handed technique used to defend against an attack to the midsection. This block makes use of the back stance. The knife hand block is useful to defend against attacks delivered at close range. The wind-up for the knife hand block is similar to the wind-up for the downward block. The blocking arm wraps around the head with the palm of the hand turned inward. The opposite arm is extended with the palm of the hand turned downward. Be careful not to lift the shoulders. The final position of the blocking arm is at a 90 degree bend with the elbow pointed downward. The blocking hand is positioned at shoulder level with the fingertip slightly higher than the shoulder. The drawing arm is pulled back to chest level and finishes level with the solar plexus at the end of the block. The knife hand block makes use of hip rotation in the opposite direction of the block. Time the hip rotation to occur simultaneously with the release of the block. In a back stance, the feet are positioned in one line. The back foot is turned outward to a 90 degree angle from the position of the front foot. Bend the back leg deeply, but only bend the front knee slightly. At the beginning of the step, the hips are squared with the front. Keep the hips at this angle until the end of the step, then rotate the hips back to a 45 degree angle. The back stance makes use of indirect pressure to create stability to the floor. This is accomplished by the strong outward twisting tension of the back leg and the backward pressure created by the front leg pushing back against the hips. To make knife hands keep the palms flat, pull the fingers together and bend the fingertips slightly. Pull the thumb tightly against the side of the hand. Keep the wrist straight. The blocking surface is the outside edge of the hand. During the wind-up, draw the elbows together. Avoid lifting the shoulders. By keeping the shoulders low, it is easier for the arm to make a strong connection to the body. This results in a more powerful technique. Twist the wrists at the end of the block. The twisting action of the wrist will increase the speed of the block and make it easier to focus. Be sure to keep the wrist straight. Next, we will demonstrate the knife hand block spear hand strike combination. The long distance covered by the body during the change from the back stance to the front stance allows a large amount of weight to shift into the counterattack. Adjust the position of the front foot to the side before the change to the front stance. Keep the body weight positioned towards the rear until the front foot is in position. Then use the drive of the back foot against the floor to shift the body weight into the strike. The stance that is used with the knife hand block is a back stance. To properly position the feet in a back stance, the feet are in one line and the rear foot is turned 90 degrees from the front. The body is positioned 70% to the rear. Bend the rear leg deeply, but only bend the front leg slightly. At the end of the block, the hips are positioned at a 45 degree angle. The knife hand is an open hand with the fingertips slightly bent. The skin on the palm of the hand should feel tightly stretched in this hand position. 
The thumb is pulled in tightly against the side of the hand. During the wind-up of the block, the arms are positioned the same as in the downward block. The blocking arm is wrapped around the head with the palm of the hand turned inward, while at the same time the opposite arm is extended. At the end of the block, the hand of the drawing arm is positioned at the chest, just below the solar plexus, with the palm of the hand upward. At the end of the block, the arm is bent to a 90-degree angle, with the position of the elbow close to the hip.